Yo, folks, what's going on, GP? Hey, I'm standing in front of my Sprinter right here, and I'm going to show you guys the number one investment for your Sprinter van. Under $300. It's right here. It's not this particular one because I have them on my Sprinter, but I'm talking about bump stops. I'm going to show you here where I put them in, but it changes the ride. It changes the bounce. It changes it dramatically, and I don't know why everybody's not talking about it, but as soon as you buy a Sprinter, you should be installing these, especially on the front. I did the front and rear. I think the front were $213. Back was like $189. But if you're not doing bump stops on your steering, you are missing out. I'm going to go in and show you the rear bump stops. That's them right there. Super easy replacement. And you can load this thing up. And the Sprinter is going to be sitting on those far or much quicker than without them. So worth the investment. So it's that right there. That rubber piece. There's one bolt on the bottom. That's a game changer, folks. One, one of my goals with this whole Sprinter build is, you know, I put that aluminous bump around myself. I have a, a video showing that. I have a winch on it. I have all the skid plates on this thing. I installed them myself. I'm doing the complete build out myself. Now, I'm eventually going to upgrade to a full suspension. But in order to do that, according to the manufacturer, you're supposed to have your Sprinter done and built so they can weigh it. And then they give you the package that fits the weight of the vehicle. But I don't understand why everybody doesn't have these on their Sprinter right off the rip and my whole goal here is to show you guys do it yourself stuff improvements at work improvements that we can all do ourselves and make it better have fun doing it get to know your vehicle i would strongly suggest before you do anything else go get the bump stops i got some awnings coming that i want to show you i got a screening i'm putting in uh, we're going to be doing a bed build if you guys are doing any kind of overlanding a sprinter bus building hit subscribe follow along because i got a school bus i'm doing i got a little tiny home on the property that we're doing we're doing it all ourselves we're living the life appreciate the support and the ideas and uh, hopefully you guys will follow along gp's out